Good morning and welcome to our presentation on a deep hashing network for unsupervised domain adaptation. My name is Hemant and this is joint work with my colleagues Jose Shayok and my advisor Dr. Panchanathan. Domain adaptation was initially studied using language models. For example, if we have a trained sentiment classifier for movie reviews, we could adapt this classifier to analyze the sentiment of, say, restaurant reviews. In unsupervised, unsupervised domain adaptation, we have a labeled source data set and an unlabeled target data set. The goal is to estimate the target labels given that the source and target distributions are different. Domain adaptation in computer vision is studied using different data sets. For example, object recognition of images without a background versus images with a background. Adaptation between MNIST and USPS data sets, or more recently between MNIST and SVHN data set and facial expression recognition data sets. Given a target data point, we would like to assign it a label based on the average similarity it has with k nearest neighbors in each category. We therefore need to estimate these k nearest neighbors from each category in order to calculate the average similarity of the target data point with that category. However, estimating the k nearest neighbors could often become inefficient uh, or a brute force search as the dimensionality of the features increases. So uh, we overcome this problem by resorting to hashing. So we work in a hash space where we force all data points in a category to have similar hash values. We then sample any of the k points, thereby avoiding a nearest neighbor search. The Hamming distance between a pair of hash values is related inversely to their dot product. We therefore use the dot product as a measure for hash similarity. We implement the domain adaptive hash network using the AlexNet as a base network and fine tune it. The network outputs hash values in the last layer. Every batch has both source and target images. The network minimizes three loss functions. The maximum mean discrepancy measures the difference between two distributions. We use the MMD to align the features distributions of the source and target in the fully connected layers of the network. Here, we deploy a linear online variation of the MMD to estimate the distribution difference over batches of data. The supervised hash loss is estimated only for the label source data. The loss ensures category-sensitive hashing, where all the images belonging to a category end up with very similar hash values, and images belonging to different categories have different hash values. The third is a unique loss for the unlabeled target data. The unsupervised entropy loss ensures that a target data point has a, data, has a hash value which is similar to the hash values of only one of the source categories and is dissimilar to the hash values of the other categories. One of the contributions of our work is also a data set for domain adaptation. There is a need for new data sets in domain adaptation. We therefore introduce the office home data set con uh, containing images of everyday objects. It has four domains, artistic images, clip art images, product-like images without a background, and real-world images with a background. There are 65 categories in all with nearly 15,000 images. Thank you and welcome to our poster.